Well hi folks, I hope you're all doing well. This is my second trip post lockdown, my second vlog. Um, for those of you that saw my first one where I summit camped on Ben Elegant, you'll know that I, in this trip I camped high above the clouds on Ben Lomond. This wasn't a planned trip as such. Um, I wasn't planning on going out walking this weekend, but I was checking the weather as I always do um, on the Thursday and there was huge potential to get above the clouds. Most of the southern peaks were going to be poking above the clouds on the Saturday. So, with a bit of strategic timing, um, I planted the seed in my wife's head on the Thursday and also phoned my brother-in-law, Ross, who planted the seed in my sister's head. <laughs> and we were both allowed out on the Friday, as long as we were back sharp on the Saturday morning. We started walking about 9 o'clock, got to the summit about half past 11. We were hoping to make it to the summit with a bit of light left so we could get the tents pitched, find a nice flat pitch, but as you'll see, the video starts from the summit in pitch, <laughs> pitch darkness. The last hour or so we climbed up in the dark. Without further ado, let's head to the summit of the most southerly Monroe, Ben Lomond. As I said, we arrived on the summit about quarter past, half past eleven, and we were in the clouds at this point. With all the moisture in the air, everything becomes wet and damp very quickly, including all your clothes and the camera that I was filming on. So we got the tents up as quick as we could and got everything inside. Well, hi folks. <coughs> it's about five to midnight, and I'm currently lying 10 metres or so from the summit of Ben Lomond. Um, it was a nice peaceful calm night, it was a lovely walk up. We left the car park about, I think it was maybe about 9ish or so, two and a half hours up. Had um, a nice steady pace and pitched the tent. There's, we're actually up in the clouds, we've appeared above the clouds a few times but there's a lot of moisture in the air because we're in the clouds um, so everything's kind of saturated in water than the tent. Um, a rucksack, they're close as well, but the plan is get a few hours sleep and set my alarm for half past two. I'll get up and I'll peek outside, and hopefully, if everything goes to plan with the forecast, we'll be above the clouds. So, I might get out for half an hour, get some star shots, and then get up again about half past four, and hopefully, get a nice cloud inversion and a lovely sunrise. Fingers crossed, that's always a dream on top of these mountains. <laughs> um, we'll see how it goes. But anyway, going to get some shut eye, a couple of hours sleep, and then I'll check in with you at half two in the morning. Night night. Well, I poked my head outside the tent about half past two, and the full sky was lit up with stars. I knew then we were certainly above the clouds, so I got up and spent the next hour photographing the stars. Ross and I spent the next hour wandering about the summit. 
doing some landscape photography above the clouds. Now I know I say it doesn't get much better quite often in my videos but it honestly doesn't get much better than this. I had my camera set on a 10 second timer which allowed me to run in and out of the scene. You've got some immediate rocks in the foreground which I would stand on or sit down on and then this vast sea of clouds leading you out to some of the peaks in the distance. I felt that by adding a person in the scene it gives a, a better sense of scale and depth to the image. Well, as a landscape photographer and an avid hill walker and someone that enjoys camping on the summits, it honestly doesn't get much better. You chase conditions like this for years, and over the past five years, I've never had it as successful as it was this morning. 360 degree panoramas above the clouds, it doesn't get much better. We got everything packed up and just enjoyed the walk back down into the clouds at Balmaha. <laughs> Gary, he's just this is Gary's second time he was up last night with us and he's back up again this morning. <laughs> Some effort well done, mate. Put him touch your tap, man. Yeah, I need to touch your Gary actually came up with us <laughs> the previous <laughs> night and then ran back down, stayed in his camper van and came back up again in the morning. Take my hat off, that was some shift for him. <laughs> well, 
Well, I hope you enjoyed that short video. Hopefully the footage done it some justice. It never really seems the same when you come back and review it back. Um, different for me that was there and actually experienced it, but hopefully it gives you a sense of what it was like on the summit that morning. It was a truly a wonderful experience. Thank you for taking the time to watch. I do appreciate it. Feel free to hit the thumbs up or down. Um, <laughs> Leave a comment, critique, whatever you want, it's all good. My next video is going to be a tripod review. I've been testing a KNF concept tripod, I'm using it right now. Used it in the last two trips and all through lockdown as well when I was on my daily walks I had the tripod out. So I'm going to do a short review on that. Video should be up next week. Thank you. Cheers.